This tutorial will walk you through how to build out your appointment booking slots in Google Calendar. The first thing you want to do is go directly to the week that you want to apply your booking windows for. Of course, if you want to make your appointment booking window available throughout the year, the directions will be similar, but the goal of this video is with the intention of only having booking slots for one specific week. And remember, this will be an overall demonstration. You want to refer to your district memo or the directions outlined by your principal as far as the days, times, and week slots that you want to make available for parents to sign up. Once you've identified the week that you're going to apply your appointments for, go ahead and click on any one of those blocks in the grid of your calendar. You can always make adjustments to this later. The important thing to pay attention to is there is now an appointment schedule clicked here. I would say on this screen, go ahead and hit continue. At this point, you want to put your name as the teacher or support staff. This way, as people sign up for appointments, they know who they made the appointment with. Next, you're going to set the appointment duration. For this example, I'm going to set it to 15 minutes. We're going to say this does not repeat because we're going to do this for one week only and set the days and times that you want to have that window available. So for this first one, I may do 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. and then add another date that will make it from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. and so on. And as you can see, these little lines here indicate all different appointment slot times that people can choose from. I'm going to adjust it so my scheduling window does not have a maximum, but you can always adjust these settings as you need to. When you are done, you will hit the next button and you can also make additional changes to how you want your calendar to look. Here you will choose the location, which by default you can make in person at a specific location. Or you can say none and you will specify it later. The booking form will allow you to ask the questions that you need more information on, such as first name, last name, email address, which will all be very important for following up with these booking appointments. It may be also helpful to add another item. This way you can also ask the student name to make sure that you're getting the parents information as well as the student. One last thing you can do is customize the information that you receive as an email. Certainly, you'll want to leave on an email reminder. You can choose if you want it the day before or even just moments before. When you are done with all of this, you will hit save. What you'll find is now I have appointment booking windows, which are available on my screen, and I can go to the appointment booking page. If I skip ahead and navigate to when I had my first appointment booking time, in this case, I have times for both Monday and Tuesday. One thing you'll want to notice is that there is a share button here. This share button will allow you to get a link that you can post into an email, onto your website, or even into a ClassDojo message. This link is what you will copy and then share with parents.